Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to start a new video series on Azure Logic Apps. This is our 51th video. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. What is Azure Logic App? With Azure Logic App, you can create automated workflows. You can create this workflow by just drag and drop and with minimal or no code. And the next question would be like when to use Azure Logic App and what is the difference between Azure Logic App and Azure Data Factory? It basically depends upon your business requirement. Let's say for example, you want to perform some activities based upon a tweet. Then in that case, you need, you need Azure Logic App or you want to perform a operation based upon file arrival in OneDrive, then go with Azure Logic App. And if you want to do some data related operation, let's say for example, you want to copy some bulk data and you want to do some transformation, go with Azure Data Factory. And sometime if you want to send out an email, use Azure Logic App. But in many scenarios, what they will do is they will use both Azure Data Factory and Logic App. Let's say for example, you need to copy some data and do some transformation. At the end of the transformation, if transformation is successful or failure, you may need to send out an email. So in that case, just design your data related operation in Azure Data Factory and implement the mail related logic in Logic Apps. You can call Logic Apps from Azure Data Factory. Before we get started, let's see about the plans which is available in Azure Logic App. There are two plans, consumption plan and standard plan. Consumption plan is paper execution and whereas the standard plan, you need to create an app service plan for it and it will be charged based upon the app service which you choose. In consumption plan, it will have only one workflow per Logic App and you need to create multiple logic app if you have multiple workflows whereas in standard plan you can create multiple workflows and you can create stateful workflow only in standard plan and when com comes to the pricing level consumption plan is a bit cheaper whereas standard plan you need to create a app service so it is a bit costly let's see how to create a logic app here search for logic app and this is the logo under logic app just click on add so here we need a resource group if you already have a resource group select from here if not just click a new resource group from here itself so i have created a resource group let me provide a name to the logic app and here under publish just leave the workflow as it is and select a region and here if you notice you are able to select the plan type initially it will be selected as standard once you click on conception and here if you notice that publish workflow or docker that went off if you click on standard back again it will come up and not only this and at the top if you see hosting networking so all these options are available but if you switch to conception everything will go off so networking related option won't be available here uh, something like that so you have only option under standard only so let me select conception which is even uh, azure is suggesting this is good for entry level developers and here zone redundancy just disable it this is not required so only in case if you need to select some availability zone you can select it and next is tags so tag is actually optional you can provide if you want i'm just providing environment as dev so this is the tag which you can use uh, to identify a group of resource let me click on review and create Actually, this got created uh, in less time. Let me click on go to resource. So now we have created one logic app with the consumption plan. Let me create one more logic app with standard plan. Just go to logic app and click on new. For standard, I'm going to create a new resource group. Just click on OK. Here leave the workflow as it is under publish. So select workflow and region. Let me select my region. 
and here plan type is selected as standard here we have option to create new app service so this is already it had named something so if you want to create you can provide a, a name to your app service from here just click on ok so I have provided this and pricing tier so here if you see you have various option to select based upon the region which you have selected so I'm going with the least one which is of 3.5 GB and I'm not going to select any zone redundancy now so let me click on next which will go for hosting and it needs a storage account as well so here uh, by default it provided some name if you wish to provide a new name you can select from here and networking tab in case if you want your logic app to be enabled for public access you can turn on from here if not simply turn off I am selecting on as of now and let me go to monitoring under monitoring if you want uh, app insights to be enabled you can select it from here app insight will be used to see the metrics information of the logic app if you want to create one you can do so from here or just click on no and tag if you wish to provide you can provide a tag from here and let me click on review and create it will take a while because it want to create app service a storage account and the logic app all three together so it will take a while it got created let me go to resource we have created both consumption as well as standard logic app I have opened it parallelly so that we can compare what is available inside consumption as well as standard. let me open the resource group first so under consumption you will see only your logic app alone it got created but if you see under standard you will be able to see a storage account and app service as well so let me open the logic app of both let me close this and here you will able to see what are the options available inside your uh, consumption plan so which is simple and here you have your designer so once you go under designer you can drag and drop your logic and you can create on your own so this is available whereas if you compare with here if you click on workflows here you need to add multiple workflows under here in consumption plan you can have only one flow workflow but here you can create multiple workflows so let me add one here you need to select the state type it whether it is stateful or stateless I am going with stateless and if you click on connections here you will have the api connection whether if you are making some interaction with onedrive or azure key vault or a send grid so those connection will appear here and in consumption plan it will be available under api connections over here and so here you won't see much items over here uh, you will be able to manage your access over here with identity and that's it but if you go under here you will have multiple option and one more thing notice is that uh, you will have parameters to create over here so what are the parameters you can create it will be used across your workflows let's say for example you have 10 to 15 workflows it can use the same uh, parameters over here so you can define your parameters over here which we'll see later and you can go under configuration so here you have multiple options over here and if you have enabled the app inside you can navigate from here if you didn't create you can just create on from here and you have option to provide custom domains and networking tab as well so here you can have your private endpoints so all this uh, network related configuration it is available in uh, standard plan whereas it is not available in consumption plan and here you have scale up and scale out this we have already discussed in detail in a separate video I will be providing the URL in the video description uh, where you will get to know what is scale up and what is scale out and let me go to workflow under here now let us see how we can get started 
designing the logic in both of them. So in consumption plan, just click on logic app designer and here you have various option to select meaning like you need to select the type of trigger which you want or you can simply go with blank logic app and you will able to reach the screen. So similarly, let me show how we can do it in standard. Just click on the workflow which you have created and go to designer. Yeah, so and that's it on this video. I'll be providing more scenarios in upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and connect with me on LinkedIn to stay connected. Thank you. Bye bye.